让我们一起探讨整个天空，多做精细去挖。The National Committee on United States-China Relations hosted its annual gala on the evening of October 8th. Since its founding in 1966, the committee has been a leading advocate in the U.S. for strong relations with China at the governmental and societal level. The president of the NCUSCR, Steve Orlands, told an audience of 450 at New York's Plaza Hotel about the history of the committee and the bilateral relationship itself. He said the leaders from both countries should keep the efforts in enhancing cooperation between the two countries. Four weeks from tomorrow, Americans will elect a president who will preside over the bilateral relationship for the next four years. Just two days later, we will see the beginning of the transition in China's leadership when Vice President Xi Jinping, whom we hosted in February. Will assume the presidency of China. This is the first time. Repeat the first time that these two events have coincided since the founding of the People's Republic of China 63 years ago. It presents the leaders of both countries with the unique opportunity to reset the U.S.-China relationship, to focus on solutions. Rather than legacies of 20th century conflicts, we must ask our leaders to abandon the campaign rhetoric and focus instead on a future of shared prosperity and cooperation. Carla Hills, a former U.S. Trade Representative and now NCUSCR Chairwoman, read a congratulatory letter from U.S. President Barack Obama before Jiang Yesui, China's ambassador to the U.S., later read one from Chinese President Hu Jintao. In their letters, the leaders emphasized the importance of their country's relationship and praised the NCUSCR for its years of promoting bilateral understanding. Last Friday, I received a letter that I was. Would... Like to share with you. It begins. I send greetings to all those attending the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations 2012 Gala Dinner. Since President Richard Nixon's historic visit to China in 1972, the relationship between our two nations has grown in ways leaders at the time could not have imagined. Our relations have broadened and deepened over the last 40 years, and the relationship between the United States and China still play an integral role in shaping the 21st century. We now have an extraordinary range of issues on which we work together through our regular consultations and our strategic and economic dialogue. President Hu and I understand that our countries face. An overreaching challenge to defy the notion that a rising power and an established power are destined for conflict. Organizations like the National Committee are essential in helping us to meet this challenge by working to increase understanding between American and Chinese citizens at all levels of society. Your unique and innovative programs help foster mutual respect. And enrich the shared values of our people, and I hope that you take pride in your achievement as you gather on this occasion. I wish you all an enjoyable event. Signed, Barack Obama. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have the great honor of reading the letter of congratulations from President Hu Jintao. Quote, Madam Carla Hills, Chair of the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations, Mr. Stephen Ollins, President of the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations. I wish to extend my warm congratulations on the 46th anniversary of the National Committee on U.S.-China Relations. I would also like to extend my sincere greetings and best wishes. To all the American friends who have endeavored to promote China-U.S. relations over the years, 
The National Committee on US-China Relations have worked tirelessly to keep up mutual understanding and friendship between our two peoples. The National Committee has also made great efforts to expand exchanges and cooperation between our two countries. I greatly appreciate your contribution to the development of China-US relations. This year's NCUSCR Gala honored PepsiCo CEO Andrew Nui and her counterpart at 3M Corporation, Ng Tulin, for contributions to the NCUSCR and U.S.-China relations. The gala also commemorated the 40th anniversary of the historic visit of China's national table tennis team in 1972, the second leg of what became known as ping pong diplomacy, helping clear the way for the establishment of diplomatic relations between Beijing and Washington. Yu Hanliu. China Daily, New York.